Hey everybody, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Um, we have some exciting things to talk about because Easter is around the corner and Easter is just, it's gonna be an incredible day and we cannot wait to serve with you. Um, I just wanted to remind you that Easter service has one hour um, service times. And so if you read the email, the details below, it'll actually tell you what time you need to come um, for the, to the potting shed so that we can be well prepared. Um, if you are inviting anybody, which you know is always important to do on Easter, it's a lot of fun, um, the special abilities room is open at 9.30. Just in case you happen to know a family that you would like to invite, um, the 9.30 service is the one that has that particular class open. Um, since we have one service, we actually have a condensed schedule. And that schedule and the times for when you need to be at um, the extracurricular activities are actually going to be in your curriculum box. Um, in regards to the actual curriculum, um, you know, this is the first time that the kids are actually ever going to hear the story of the Lord's Supper and anything between that and Jesus' resurrection. So um, I actually asked Megan and her sweet princess, Lily. <laughs> To He's come. totally cooperating with everything we're trying to do right now. Um, so Megan's been a teacher for elementary age students, and then she's been at the church for a long time, so she knows this area <laughs> really well. So um, she's wise, and I figured I'd ask her for some top three tips for Easter Sunday. So what you got, Megan? Yes, so i got three tips for you. Um, the first one is to be early. It's always important to be on time, but being early on a day like Easter is really important. The likelihood of you having extra kids in your class than you're used to is really high on Easter. Um, and I know Ashley's doing a great job of scheduling everyone, but there's just something about being in your classroom early yeah. that helps your mind mentally prepare for what's about to happen. I had a teacher one time tell me that teaching is like catching a train. If you're there on time and you walk on the train when it starts speeding down the track, you're good. If you miss the train, you chase it the entire time. And that's what it can feel like teaching. Um, if the kids are already there and running around, now you're chasing the train. So I don't get caught chasing the train on Easter Sunday. Um, come on. Um, the second tip is to keep things very simple. You have one hour for these services. It's a lot shorter. And it seems like one hour would be easier. But as teachers, you want to get everything done. You want to have the special moments and do the craft and do the activity and make it to all the specials and get them in line. And sometimes you just can't do it all on Easter because it's one hour. Did you just burn? <laughs> and sometimes, you know, things just happen. We, so, we call it plot twist. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you just got to keep it simple. Yeah. Um, don't worry about making it extra cutesy. Don't worry about all that extra stuff. These kids are going to come in having eaten a bunch of Easter candy. They're right. all dressed up in, in beautiful dresses and little bow ties. And as a teacher, you just want to exude calm and simplicity. And that will make your morning so much smoother because you won't get frustrated trying to get it all done. Right. Um, and then the, the third tip that I have um, is to put on love. Um, Colossians 3.14 says, above everything else, put on love. It will bind you together in harmony. And I know you want your classrooms to be harmonious mm -hmm. on Easter. So when you're getting dressed for church that morning, I just ask that you pray, Jesus, clothe me in love. Clothe me in your love. I want to exude your love. And when those kids leave, um, they're going to have encountered the love of Jesus through you. And that's mm -hmm. the biggest thing. Right. So be early, keep it simple, and wear love. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, great. Well, um, so we've got the tips. We're going to tell you when to come. It's going to be an amazing Sunday. Um, it goes extremely fast, and it ends up being um, a lot of fun. And so, anyways, thank you so much for taking the time, and we will see you Sunday.